Hi guys, welcome to another video here on my channel. Um, if you've not seen any of these videos before, I'm an approved driving instructor uh, here in the UK. And if it's your first time to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you get all the new videos that we're gonna be dropping. So let's get into the video. Okay then guys, so this is part number two of the tell me questions and we're inside the car this time because we're going to run through a couple of the tell me questions that you might get asked in here. So I'm going to start with the head restraint that's behind me. So one of the questions that you're going to be asked is how would you know if the head restraint is correctly adjusted? Now it's very simple, your head restraint, this one's got quite a nice flat head restraint here and it's firm all the way down. So what you're looking for is to have the top of your ears or your eyes in line with the top of the, with that firm part on the head restraint. It is not a headrest; it is a head restraint. It's designed to stop you getting whiplash if you hit from behind, your head going back too far. If you've hit something in front, jolting forwards and then coming back again. So that's why they want to know whether you know whether the head restraint is correctly adjusted or not. Okay, so the next question is all to do with your brakes. And the question you're gonna be asked is, how would you know if the brakes are working before starting a journey? So what they're looking for you to do here is to say to them that you would press the brake pedal, check in to see if the brakes feel spongy or slack. In other words, the brake pedal goes all the way to the floor. The other point that you want to make is add pull forwards a little bit and then brake just to see if the car pulled to one side or the other. That could also show a bit of an issue with the brakes themselves. Staying with the brakes for the next question. How would you know if there was a problem with your anti-lock braking system? Okay, so this one is a very simple answer. You are looking for the ABS warning light coming up on the dashboard of the car. It will come up whenever you start the car and then it should go off once the onboard computer has checked that it's all okay. If it stays on, you have a problem with your anti-lock braking system. So the final question for this video is, how would you check the power steering is working before starting a journey? Now this one again is very simple. A lot of cars now have electronic steering columns or a power assisted steering. So when the engine is off, it will not work. So what you would say in this answer is I'd apply a little bit of turning pressure to the wheel, start the engine and the wheel should then move freely. Any sort of variation of those words will be fine. The examiners are not here looking for A-class mechanics. They are after somebody that has a basic understanding of if they start their car in the morning and the power steering doesn't work, they're okay. They know that it's not right and they will get it sorted. That's what they're looking for realistically here. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been helpful to you. If this is your first time coming to the channel, do make sure that you subscribe to the channel and make sure you turn on your bell notification so that you do get told whenever we've got new videos coming. I'm dropping quite a lot of them at the minute because I'm trying to get some of the main important ones up there for you and some of the other questions that I've been asked by some of my students to do a video on. I'm making sure that they're up there for you. So keep that bell notification on to make sure you don't miss a single video upcoming. Good luck with your tests out there, guys. I wish you every success. If there's anything that you want me to do a video on, make sure you pop it in the comments below or drop me a message on Facebook and I'll do a video for you. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye.